Hey there, SM. Sometimes in our application, we just want to share a link that will expire or just send a link to a certain group of people. These features can be very useful in apps that involves resource sharing, like a cloud drive or a video sharing platform or even a private chat room. And now the big question is, how are we supposed to generate this link in Laravel? The answer is simple. Thankfully, Laravel provided us a nice to use API to generate this type of links. Let's take a look at the code right now. Let's say we are running a video sharing platform like YouTube, and we want a feature that will let our user to only share their videos with their friends and family, but not everyone in the world. Okay, first of all, let's create our fictional URL that will serve the video that the user wants to share. I'll create a get route and call it shared video and the video ID. And just for demonstration, I'll simply return the word get good just to motivate you. And now let's go to Postman to test this route just to make sure that it works. And we see the word get good as expected. And now I want to protect this route so that only people with the special link can access this route. To do that, we can use the sole code sign URL to achieve this. In programming, signing means to protect a certain things from future tampering. If we are signing a route, that means if anyone attempted to change a part of the route, the route will no longer work and the server should refuse to accept the incoming HTTP request. If you're confused at this point, don't worry, we'll explore on how this works in the next few minutes. So to create a sign route in Laravel, we'll need the help of the URL facade. Laravel provided us two variants to sign a route. One is with an expiration time, which is useful to create a temporary link. The other one is just to call the sign route function, and that is helpful to create a permanent protected route. I'll go ahead and call the temporary sign route function in this demo. Now the first argument in this function is asking for a route name, which is a reference to an existing route in our app. In our case here, we want to turn our share video route here into a protected route. So let's give our route here a name, our code share video. And then I'll go ahead and pass the name share video into our sign route function. The second argument is the expiration time, which is the timestamp that this route would expire. And just for demonstration, I'll only let this route to live for 30 seconds. Otherwise, this video will be a few hours long just for me to show you what will happen when the link is expired. Once we have added the expiration time, we can simply return a URL and we'll go to Postman and call our playground endpoint to see how this thing looks like. And whoops, I made a mistake here. We see an error. And if we look at the error message, it's saying that we're missing a required parameter for our share video route. Our share video route accepts a video URL parameter, so that means when we create our sign route, we should also pass in a third argument that will supply the value for the video parameter. Let's go back to Postman and try again. And this time it works. And we can see inside the response body, we see a sign URL. It is a URL pointing to the shared video endpoint, but it also contains two query parameters, expires and signature. Expire is the timestamp that this URL will expire and signature is a unique hash that will stop people from tampering with this URL. It is the main mechanism that will protect our route from modification. Let's explore how this thing works on a deeper level. So now when someone attempted to visit a sign URL, we need some sort of logic to verify the route signature. And there are two ways to do this. One is through a helper function on the request object, which is called hasValidSignature. Two is to use the sign middleware provided by Laravel out of the box. So to use the helper function on the request object, we simply need an if statement to check if the request has a valid signature or not. If not, we'll abort the request with a 401 error code. All right, let's give this bad boy a go. We'll go back to Postman. We will send a get request to the playground endpoint again to get a new sign URL. And I'll copy the sign URL and send a get request to it. And we get get good in the response body which is expected because we're still within a 30 seconds limit. And now if I attempt to change the signature hash to something else, this URL is no longer working. And we see a 401 response code because we no longer have a valid signature in our URL. And if I change the signature back to the original, we still get a 401 error because we have passed the 30 seconds time limit and the URL is now expired. Let's try again. I'll get a new sign route, and this time, I'll try to be cheeky and attempt to see some other videos other than the one that is currently shared to me. I'll change the video ID from 1 to 3 to 1 to 2, and hit enter, and we see a 401 error. That means we cannot view the video. 
change it back to 1 to 3, and we see get good again. Can you see how the sign URL is protecting the route? We can only see the resources that was signed originally, and if we attempt to change any part of the URL, Laravel will simply not let us to pass. So that was sign route by using the helper function on the request object. We can also apply the built-in middleware code sign to do the signature check. I recommend to use the middleware rather than the if statement because our code will be cleaner. Let's go back to Postman again. We'll get a new URL and attempt to visit video 1 to 2 again. And this time, the middleware is sending us back a 403 error with the message invalid signature. And that is all working. And now the big question is, how does this thing work behind the scene? To answer this question, we need to look at the source code. First of all, let's visit our HTTP kernel file. And if we look at our route middleware mapping, we can see that the sign middleware is mapped to a middleware code validate signature. And in the handle method of the middleware, it's really a wrapper around calling the has valid signature function on the request object. And now if we follow through the function definition, we find ourselves inside the request class. And seems like this has valid signature function is a magic function living elsewhere. And that means we can't see its implementation inside the request class. What should we do? That's okay, we can do a global search. We will need to search not only in our project, but also from the Laravel source folder. And looks like I have found it. It is a macro where the definition is living inside one of the Laravel's built-in service provider. We haven't talked about macro in this series before. It is one of the Laravel's feature that allows you to add functions to a class on demand. Personally, I'm not a big fan because it seems a little bit magical to me. And if you use too much of it, it'll be very hard for you to debug your code. Anyway, in here, Laravel has added the has valid signature function to the request class, and it is simply a wrapper around the has valid signature function on the URL facade. The URL facade is based on the URL generator class. Let's try to look for the has valid signature function inside the URL generator class. And we have found it. The function is calling two methods in it, one to confirm whether the request has a correct signature, and the other one is to make sure the signature has not expired. Let's look at the first function for now. And here we are, we have some scary code in front of us. What's going on here? So the first line is to get the whole URL, and the second line is to remove the signature query parameter from the URL. So we get everything else, including the expiration timestamp, and store it to the query string variable. The next line is simply hashing the query string using the SHA-256 algorithm to recalculate the signature. Laravel is using the apps encryption key here as the salt of the hashing function, so we can guarantee that the signature is going to be unique. And lastly, we'll compare the calculated signature against the signature from the request query. So if someone tampered with the URL, there's no way that a person can make the hashes equal unless the hacker is extremely lucky or they're using a supercomputer to brute force the hash. Because if the hacker changes any character in a URL, the hacker will also need to calculate the hash of the new URL that they created. And to calculate the hash, the hacker will need a sort of the algorithm, which is a long ass string living inside the environmental variable in the server. Under normal circumstances, the server should be very secure and it's very hard for the hacker to gain access to the environmental variable. And that makes signed route in Laravel to have a 5 star rated security level. Alright, that's basically how signed route works in Laravel. And now I want a feature in our app that will let our user to share a post privately. Let's go back to web.php and just for demonstration, I'll create a new route to share a post. and apply the sign middleware on it. And we'll return some text in the response. In the actual app, this route should render the view to display the post, or the API JSON that contains the body of the post. And to share the post, we need a new endpoint to create the sign route. Let's add a new route to our post endpoints. I'll define a new post route in our post route definition file, And this endpoint should trigger a function in a post controller. I'll call it share. Once we're done, let's go to our post controller and create this new function. 
Within the function body, we'll need to generate the URL. So we'll call the URL facade and call the temporary sign route function. The name of the route will be the get route that I just created a minute ago. That will send back to the body of the post that we want to share. And I'll keep this link alive for 30 days. And for the URL parameter, I'll simply set post to the post that the author wanted to share. Once we got the URL, we should send it back as a JSON response. Last but not least, we should also set the documentation for our share function. And now to test our share endpoint in Postman, I'll temporarily disable the off middleware because the share route is protected by Sanctum and Fortify and I'm too lazy to log in and set the CSRF token in Postman. Alright, let's go to Postman and I'll send a post request to our share post endpoint. And we get a JSON response with the sign URL. Let's click on it and in our browser, we see the post that is specially made just for you. Alright, key takeaway for this lesson. We can use signed routes to protect our routes from unwanted modification. This is extremely useful for apps that shares protected resources like videos or files. We use the temporary signed routes function in a URL facade to create a link with expiration, while the signed route function to create a permanent protected link. Laravel uses a sorted SHA-256 algorithm to hash the route as a measure to counter modification in the signed routes. That's it for now, and I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for your support.